Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a complete tutorial with a software that I use here called CapCut. Some of you guys wanted to see some of the softwares that I use behind the scenes. This is one of them. CapCut is a software that basically has everything to do with video editing and video creation, whether you're creating YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, um, Facebook Reels, any really thing that you could think about that's related to video, you can produce with CapCut. As far as longer YouTube videos, I can edit longer YouTube videos through CapCut. So essentially, you guys know my channel. I have 40K subscribers on YouTube. And really, a lot of the other products I sell, like for example, I have a jewelry brand, you got to use video for that, right? And you guys know how it is. Video kind of helps people see what a consumer is buying. And video is powerful, that, powerful for that, excuse me. But there's some softwares that can either help you, and sometimes it makes things harder. So CapCut makes things a lot easier to edit. I'll kind of show you the different tools that I use, and almost like a tutorial around the whole entire uh, platform here. So here is, you could say, the front end dashboard. Once you log in, you have a dashboard. And a lot of the times I'm focused on right here, these different functions, these different features, which are different features in the software. So let's talk about what some of these features actually are. This one is turning video clips uh, from a large form video, or excuse me, uh, clips to a video. So if I have different pictures, things like that, I can make them into a, a video. Here I can turn a script into a video. So I know people who like that. Uh, for YouTube automation, things like that. Here we have long video into short videos, so various shorts. And then here we have a product URL into ads. This is kind of one of my favorite and easier ways to make, you know, different reels and different shorts and things like that that can promote a product relatively quickly. And I want to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So once again, this is the product URL to the ads feature. First thing I got to do is I have to put in a link to some products. So here it says enter a TikTok or a Shopify link to the product. So I'll give you an example. Here's a brand called Alphalete, right? So let's we'll, uh, whip it out here, Alphalete. Let's click on this section here and we'll pick any of the products. Let's just pick, for example, this uh, one of these products over here. So you got all t all kinds of stuff here. Let's go shop men. Let's click on this button here and let's pick something like this t-shirt here. All right. So I'll take this. I'll copy the link and this is built once again with a Shopify store. I'll hit submit and I'll hit allow. All right. And now what it's going to do is it's essentially going to take the data on that page and it's going to create us an ad based on it. So based on the, the content or the media inside of it. So you could see here, it's preloaded. You have the price, you have some features, you have the link, you have the name, all that kind of stuff. And just make sure that everything is right here. I'll hit confirm and generate. And then it will go ahead and it will kind of generate it for me depending on the specs that I pick. So for me, I'll pick like a 15 second ad, right? Target audience, let's just say, we'll type in uh, fitness enthusiasts. So I don't really need to type it, I'll just click it and fashion conscious individuals, comfort seekers, right? These are different things that I would click on and I would hit confirm and generate. And just like that makes things super simple. And once again, I could do this with pretty much any of my e-commerce stores that are hosted on Shopify. Um, it will take that data in and then go ahead and create an ad based on that. So here we're waiting for it to be completed. And you can see here overall guys, this is pretty quick. I remember years ago when I didn't have any of this kind of stuff, I had to do all my ads, all my videos, all my images manually, right? So check this out, right? Let's click on something like this. Let's see what it looks like, right? Let's go ahead and turn the volume down just the sake of this video. And like basic. And by the way, there's videos. It, there's words in the you know behind the scenes. So actually, you know what? Let me play the words. Why not? The perfect gift for anyone who doesn't like basic. It's from Alpha Athletics. Has a ribbon knit collar and a relaxed fit. This unisex design is not just a tee. It's a lifestyle. Forty dollars and let your fitness journey begin. Can you tell me why? All right. So that's an example what I ordered of an first ad is here. And by the way, if I take my mouse and I what? hover over. If I hover over anything here. That I got from Alphalete Athletics. This is the grind. It starts to play. 
So you kind of get you kind of get the point as to what it does here. Now, obviously, depending on what kind of products you have, you can create different ads, different videos, things like that. But I'm they have a whole bunch of different tools. So that's the first one. And let's go ahead and go to the second tool that I use a lot here, which is this long to short. So if you guys notice, I've been posting a lot of shorts a little while back. And the reason why I was, I was testing, I was testing different videos. And here I have the ability to upload videos and test how well they'll do on shorts. So what I'll do is I'll take a video, for example, that I created. I have a video right here. Let me get rid of this link. Let me get rid of this here. I'll take like this five minute video I created. I'll put it here and it will create different shorts for me depending on what I require. So let's say I want my shorts to be under 60 seconds. I can click on that, right? And if I want them to be a little bit longer, I could, but I personally prefer like on the less side of things. And I'll just hit convert here and I hit agree for the disclaimer. Now this is all AI generated kind of shorts. So they'll read the script. And I think this is the way that it works. It reads the script. It looks for certain parts. It analyzes certain parts of the video and then it cuts it, right? So it makes it into a short video. Now this is going to take a little bit of a while. So in the meantime, what we'll do is I'll pause this and then we'll just get right back to it. All right. Okay. So now you can see here, my short videos are generated. So like literally I could take my mouse, play one of these videos. I can edit them if I really want to, but you could see, like I said, they're all generated. It took only a few seconds and it created six short videos. Now some of my short videos will get 500 views, a thousand views, sometimes 4,000 views. So that's actually pretty good to create these at just a few seconds, upload them, and then however big they get, great, right? And you can see kind of the duration of where they were well created. So this is from the second two minutes and 16 second mark to the two minute and 56 second mark, right? Two minutes, 53 second mark to 327. The video itself was only five minutes, so it's not a long video, and we have six videos here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six shorts. I'm not going to play them here because, like I said, I don't want to kind of overarch too much of the video with different sounds and stuff, but you get the kind of concept. So these are just some quick use tools to help you work on, you know, your different videos if you're creating different content for different niches. But what if you need a template, right? CapCut has different templates, right, for different videos. So let's say I'm running an ad on a product, right? I can pick something like this, something like this, different types of templates. Well, I can actually look through here. So for example, let's click on this big business 16.9. These are different templates for this YouTube style uh, format for a video, like the long form videos that are more landscaped. So you can see here that are landscaped. And, and some of you guys might use this for your YouTube channels and your YouTube videos where you're making videos for certain products or maybe you're something like that, it's like consulting or something like that. So you have all, all kinds of different templates here that you could potentially use. You could even use some as intros, like this exact intro here I've seen. Hold on. There we go, I had to shut off the music there. So this exact intro that you're seeing right here, this was an intro that Gary V used. So, you know, it's, I mean, it's a very clean looking, very professional looking, right? You can see how well it's put together. And uh, yeah, you just switch out the clips. You, you don't have to use certain clips or certain text. You can switch it out. So I'll show you kind of how this works. So if I click use this template, right, I can edit certain things. And I think Gary V was actually using this exact template because I did recognize it for his event. So he was doing like a, like a live event, something that you could pay tickets for. And you can join and you could, like I said, switch up certain clips. So let me show you what I mean. So here, all right, I'll just select OK here. I can still edit certain text. So you see how it says event. I could say uh, on June. Tw let me actually go ahead and take this, uh, make it capitalized right on June and then type in here the word June 29th as an example. Right. And then we're going from each you know, think, right? So I could say on June 29th, come, and then I would write here, come visit us, come visit, or come see us, or come meet us, whatever the case may be, 
as you know if this was a meetup or whatever but you get the point right so I could go in add certain things I can even change certain slides out so here you see this little minus button I can control the width of the video and that allows me to edit certain um, certain of uh, excuse me certain clips certain videos so I can click replace here and I can replace, for example, a different clip that I want. So if I don't want a certain thing to exist, I can change something, whatever the case may be. And I have a whole bunch of different things that I can edit. But that's one example, right? We have stock videos we can implement. We have, you know, a lot of different things. So I could search here for office, like something like this. And we have this video, office-related video, right? Drag it and drop it. I can add it here. There's a lot of different things that I can do. Now, obviously, I want to make sure that the format's the same, things like that, but you get the point. All right, that's one of the other tools within CapCut, but the templates tool is very, very useful. If you have, like, a need for a YouTube outro, you can use this. So, for example, I'll show you this one. This one's pretty cool. You could see how on YouTube, when there's an outro, you have the video recommendations, previous video, your channel in the middle, with some text, right? If I don't like this one, if I want to use a different one, I could use something like this, right? Let's say I'm a gym fitness person or whatever. This is for, uh, as an example for ballet, but you can once again, do different kinds of things. Um, this one is pretty cool too. All right. So you have that moving kind of text in the background. That's for outro. Uh, you have sports and fitness. You have, um, let's see, slideshow, uh, you have premium, right? So there's premium type of templates, which this is actually really cool, especially for like a fitness brand or a clothing brand, right? This gives you an idea of how it looks. We have stuff like this for like a uh, kind of like a business, a local business, right? So if you own an agency, you're making different kinds of videos for clients. You can pump out videos. You don't need a lot of experience doing this. And you can pump out really, really good videos for your clients that look really good and are effective uh, in their marketing. And part of marketing is just, does the, the product, does the end product look good enough for the end user, right? And that's kind of important. So you have different things for like courses here, for example, right? Different videos, templates for courses, so much, so much different content. I mean, I could just go on and on and on travel vlogs, right? You have a YouTube travel channel, so many different things you could do, but CapCut is the number one option for video, right? So if you're using, if you're going to create stuff that you're selling, use it for video. If you're planning to create, for example, different templates of your Redbubble products, you can use this for video. Uh, you can do different things. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can access this tool. Very, very useful. If you want to see future videos or you have questions on this, leave them in the links in the description. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching and peace out. Bye.